New Orleans and Metairie are on the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The area circled in red is part of the north shore, and these are the houses that I'll be flying, looking at the houses and the piers on this north shore. We're starting off at the Causeway North End toll booth and toll offices and flying west along the houses. As we do this, let me read to you about what the North Shore is about. St. Tammany Parish, also known as Louisiana's North Shore, is an easy day trip from New Orleans across the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. North Shore begins on the shores of Lake Pontchartrain, a 630 square mile body of water that's the second largest inland saltwater lake in the United States after Utah's Great Salt Lake. A network of communities offer plenty for those interested in history, museum shopping, and sampling seafood. From touring historic mansions in Madisonville and Mandeville, to visiting Abita Springs Wacky Mystery Museum, to shopping for antiques in Covington, North Shore satisfies many tastes. For outdoor enthusiasts, activities abound. The lake and the surrounding wetlands provide a massive estuary teeming with wildlife from birds to nutria to alligators, all types of animals. In Fountain Blue State Park near Mandeville and in the Honey Island Swamp near Slidell, you'll find these animals. You'll also find free-range giraffes, bison, camels, and elands in Folsom, Louisiana. I find the idea of living in a house like this on the shore of a body of water with a pier going out into the water for watching sunsets, for fishing, for operating a boat to be just really delightful and peaceful. Uh, it would be so much fun. Plus, the North Shore is cooler than living in New Orleans itself. There's many things to do there. Let me tell you a few of the things that, that are interesting. One of them is John Preble's Abita Mystery House, which is chock full of everything from paint-by-number artwork to bottles of heart sauce to Preble's combo animal creations, like a chicken with an alligator head called Claire the Cluckagator. That's different. Then there's historic homes. Near Madisonville, the 99-acre Fairview Riverside State Park sits along the Chifuncta River shores. Massive oak trees and a barred walk next to the river provide ample opportunity to spot birds. One of these homes, the Otis House, was built in 1885 by the lumber baron William Theodore J. There's another home in, built in 1850, an Anglo-Creole home in Old Town, Madisonville. There's the John Baptiste Lang Creole House Museum there. Lang was a New Orleans tobacco merchant. He came to Mandeville in the summers to enjoy the, the milder temperatures and the breezes off of nearby Lake Pontchartrain. There's museums. One of the best maritime museums I've been to is the Maritime Museum of Louisiana, located in Madisonville. It pays tribute to the Janky Shipyard, which began building ships on this site in 1900. The shipyard received a commission to build six wooden warships for World War I and employed 2,200 men. There are exhibits on lighthouses, which are fascinating, the lighthouses of Louisiana, and there's also dioramas about bayou life. There's a wooden schoolhouse built in 1912. The Bayou Lacombe Museum in the town of Lacombe covers the history of the area, beginning with the Choctaw Indian people. Near Mandeville, the Instigator Ranch and Hatchery offers educational hands-on tours daily. Louisiana has more alligators than all of the other states combined. <laughs> That's something to really brag about. If you ever wanted to see an alligator hatch, this is the place to do it. The eggs collected in the wild hatch in August and early September. You can also get a tour of the swamp. 
Slidell's Cajun Encounters Swamp Tour introduces visitors to the Honey Island Swamp, where you're likely to see an alligator gliding by your boat. It's not as ominous as it sounds. I've taken my kayak to Lake Martin many times and have alligators come up to the boat, and they're not, they're not menacing in, in the least. They really aren't. And if you're interested in kayaks, <clears throat> there's a guided kayak tour of Cane Bayou near Fountain Blue State Park with Bayou Adventure in Lacombe. There's also a walkway, which is interesting. A railroad line once connected the towns in St. Tammany Parish. The railroad tracks have since been removed, and a paved 31-mile trail now runs from Covington to Slidell, the Tammany Trace, as it is called. This links towns for walkers, inline skaters, and bicyclists. So many different things to do in the area and such a beautiful area and so relaxing. Uh, if you ever have a chance to visit the North Shore, I recommend it highly. Now we're flying towards the end of the flight going back to our launch point. You can see the causeway ending there on the North Shore. We'll fly over these remaining gazebos, if you will, out at the end of the pier. What a cool place to have a drink as the sun sets or to fish. And you can see once again the toll booths and the toll office for the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway dead ahead. And this is where we'll land. <laughs>